everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Queen Queen, Miss Callie. And today we're going to talk about not forgetting to exercise your tendons. And someone might say, but wait, tendons aren't muscles. How can you exercise those? Well, you actually can. And tendons are really, really important just in general because tendons actually connect to the muscles and help those connect to the bone. So it's bone, tendon, muscle. And so it's really important to make sure those are strong as well, because even though they're really strong and really flexible, they can get injured often from something like a repetitive motion, like a repetitive injury, um, also just overuse if you're just using it over and over and over, or even unfortunately just aging um, can make those tendons weaker and cause issues and problems. And so you might hear things like tendonitis or tendinosis, um, which can be very, very painful and often they're, they're really hard uh, to get those healed. So the best way to do it is exercise those tendons so you can prevent it from getting injured in the future. And so with tendons, it's a little bit different it just versus like tr traditional exercising and things that's really going to hit those muscle groups. But it's really uh, great to have some different kind of exercises for those tendons, for example, um, eccentric exercising. And so eccentric and concentric exercises are different and concentric really helps those muscles where let's say if it was my bicep I'm pulling up the weight you know I'm I'm shortening that muscle that's the concentric exercise but eccentric exercises are more of a controlled movement it is putting load on that muscle as you're lengthening the muscle. So if I had the, the weight up here and I'm slowly coming back down, so I'm lengthening that bicep tendon with that resistive weight. And so a lot of times if I'm in the clinic working with someone, I'll say, resist me, but let me move you. So you're activating that muscle, but then I'm pushing you slowly back down. And that's that eccentric exercise. And that really helps strengthen those tendons and get them stronger. Another one that's really good is an isometric exercise. And if you've watched any of my videos, isometric exercises are great because you're strengthening the muscle, but you're not actually moving or lengthening the muscle. So for example, if I was still going to exercise that bicep, I would have something stopping me here. It could be my other hand. It could be like the bottom of a table or something. And I'm pushing into it. So you can see I'm activating that muscle, but I'm not moving or lengthening it. So that helps get that tendon working. Um, but it also helps with the muscle, but it really helps focus on that tendon as well. And so with these, I have uh, a lot of different videos that show the eccentric exercises, the isometric exercises, um, and then also plyometric exercises. So if you're interested, if you just want to jump to those, you can check those out. Uh, the links in the description below that will show you those kind of exercises that you can do. So with the plyometric exercises, that's really that explosive power that you're doing. You're jumping, you're bounding, you're hopping. And that, again, the, that explosive movement, that quick powerful movement really helps with those tendons as well. So these are great and it also gives you different options because if you're super painful, maybe it's already a little bit irritated, something like the isometric exercises are probably gonna be more comfortable because you're not actively moving it, which sometimes is what causes the pain. So that's a great place to start. Then you can go into the eccentric exercises, which again is lengthening that muscle against a load. You're, you're doing it against resistance. And that is really something that I think people often forget to do when they're exercising. You know, they'll pump that iron, do the concentric, but they forget about that eccentric motion, that slow, controlled. If you've heard me talk about resistive bands, you, know, you go out, but you slowly let it come back in. Don't let the band control you, you control the band. And so that's that idea of that eccentric exercise. And then once you get all that done, if you're ready to get to that next level of really getting those tendons strengthened, then you can do those plyometric exercises. Just make sure you're doing them in a safe environment. Um, you know, some people like to jump right into box jumping or something like that, but make sure you're comfortable doing it. Make sure you're doing it in a safe environment. Make sure you're always checking with your doctor or your physical therapist to make sure that these are okay for you, especially if you already feel like something's coming on, like a slight injury. You want to make sure that you know that you're doing it how you're supposed to be doing it so that you're not making 
making it more irritated. So those are some simple exercises for your tendons, which a lot of times people forget about those exercises, but it will really help strengthen them and prevent, hopefully, uh, injuries in the future. And if it's already slightly irritated, those are some great ways to get them stronger as well. So if you'd like to help support my channel, click on the link up there. And don't forget to subscribe by Sleepy Cali down there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.